If you're looking to shed those extra pounds and get in the best shape of your life, you're in the right place. We're going to cover some incredible aerobic exercises that you can do at home, in the gym, or even in an aerobic class. But before we get started, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever felt like no matter what you do, the fat just won't budge? Trust me, you're not alone. And today we're going to tackle that together. Aerobic exercise. All right, let's get into it. First things first, what exactly is aerobic exercise? Well, aerobic exercise is any cardiovascular conditioning, commonly known as cardio. Think of activities like brisk walking, swimming, running, or cycling. The key here is that these exercises are performed with oxygen. Your breathing and heart rate will increase during these activities, helping to keep your heart, lungs, and circulatory system healthy. Sounds great, right? But how do we make this work for us? Especially when we're trying to lose fat. At-home aerobic exercise routine. Let's start with some at-home exercises. Now I know what you're thinking. I don't have fancy equipment at home. But guess what? You don't need it. Some of the best aerobic exercises require little to no equipment. Jump rope. One of my favorites is jump rope. All you need is a good pair of gym shoes and a jump rope. Not only is this a fantastic cardio workout, but it also helps improve body awareness, hand foot coordination, and agility. Here's a little tip. Make sure your jump rope is the right length for you. Stand with both feet on the middle of the rope and extend the handles to your armpits. That's the perfect height. If it's too long, just cut or tie it to avoid tripping. Start with a 15 to 25 minute session, three to five times a week, and you'll be amazed at the results. Plus, it's a great excuse to pretend you're Rocky Balboa training for a big fight. Aerobic Strength Circuit Next up is the Aerobic Strength Circuit. This routine is designed to get your heart rate up while also building strength and toning major muscle groups. You can do this with just a sturdy chair or a couch for dips. Focus on proper form to avoid injury and keep your heart rate at a moderate level. You should be able to carry on a brief conversation during this exercise. Perform squats, lunges, push-ups, triceps dips, and torso twists for one minute each, then jog or march in place for a minute as active rest. Repeat the circuit two to three times, resting for up to five minutes between circuits. Trust me, you'll feel the burn, but it's totally worth it. Gym exercises. All right, let's switch gears and talk about gym exercises. If you're someone who loves hitting the gym, there are some fantastic aerobic options for you. Swimming. One of the best is swimming. It's a low impact exercise, making it ideal for those prone to injury or with limited mobility. Swimming helps tone muscles, build strength, and improve endurance. Aim for 10 to 30 minutes, two to five times a week, and gradually increase your swim time each week. Just remember, never swim alone if you can help it, and always follow the safety guidelines of the pool. Stationary bike. For those who prefer staying on dry land, the stationary bike is another excellent option. This low-impact exercise develops leg strength and cardiovascular endurance. Adjust the bike seat height to maintain a slight bend in your knee before full extension to reduce knee compression. Aim for a 35 to 45 minute session, three times a week. And here's a fun fact. Stationary biking is also great for catching up on your favorite TV shows. Just make sure not to get too engrossed in the drama and forget to pedal. Running. All right, let's dive into one of the most classic and effective aerobic exercises out there, running or jogging. Now I know some of you might be thinking, running, really? But hear me out. All you need is a good pair of running shoes and you're ready to hit the pavement. Running is fantastic for improving heart health, burning fat and calories and lifting your mood. Plus, it's a great way to clear your mind and get some fresh air. For those of you just starting, I've got some tips to make your running journey enjoyable and safe. First, choose well-lit, populated running routes and always let someone know where you're going. Safety. First, as a beginner, aim to run for 20 to 30 minutes twice a week. Here's a little trick. Alternate between 5 minutes of running and 1 minute of walking. This method helps build your stamina without overexerting yourself. And don't forget to stretch after your run to keep those injuries at bay. Aerobic classes. Now let's talk about aerobic classes. If you're like me and love the energy of a group workout, classes can be incredibly effective. Cardio kickboxing is a high impact exercise that builds strength and endurance, reduces stress and improves reflexes. 
Plus, it's a great way to channel your inner martial artist. Just make sure to stay hydrated and take breaks if you feel dizzy. Zumba is another fantastic option if you enjoy dancing. It benefits heart health, improves coordination, tones your entire body, and helps relieve stress. Plus, it's so much fun that it doesn't even feel like a workout. And let's be honest, who doesn't love dancing to upbeat music with a group of enthusiastic people? Speaking of fun, have you ever tried an indoor cycling class? Unlike a leisurely bike ride, these classes are designed to get your heart rate up with resistance and climb portions for maximum training benefits. The classes typically last 45 to 60 minutes and include a warm-up, cool-down, and stretch. Just bring some water. And if you're new, ask the instructor to help set up your bike. And hey, if you're anything like me, you'll appreciate that these classes are also a fantastic way to justify all the extra snacks you've been indulging in lately. Is aerobic exercise safe for everyone? Now, I know some of you might be wondering, is aerobic exercise safe for everyone? Well, if you're new to exercise, it's always a good idea to consult with a primary care physician or another healthcare professional before starting. They can assess your health and recommend a fitness routine that's safe and effective for you. Always start with a warm-up and end with a cool-down and stretch. Focus on form and stop if it hurts. Benefits So, what are the benefits of aerobic exercise? Well, aerobic exercise gets your blood pumping and large muscle groups working. It can help improve heart health, lower blood pressure, regulate blood sugar, improve sleep, support weight management, and boost your mood. The American Heart Association recommends 30 minutes or more of aerobic exercise five or more days each week. But remember, you can break that up into smaller chunks. For example, you can take three 10-minute walks throughout the day. And there you have it. By consistently practicing these exercises, you'll begin to see improvements in your cardiovascular endurance and overall health. Make sure your exercise plan includes both aerobic and anaerobic activities. Get plenty of rest, stay hydrated, and always listen to your body. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this video helpful and that you're excited to try out some of these powerful body techniques to destroy fat and get in the best shape of your life. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. And remember, we're all in this together. Let's stay motivated and keep pushing towards our goals. See you next time!